Hi everyone, it's Marissa Williams and I am here with a word problem to challenge you today. This is a multi-stepper, so great to review different things in this one. So let's look at the uh, big picture, which is on a production line, 280 liters of shampoo is divided into 800 bottles. How many milliliters is in each bottle? Well, to do this, first of all, we're going to have to do a little bit of metric conversion. And you'll see over here I did my little cheat sheet. And up top is a series of letters. I remember it by the acronym King Henry Died by Drinking Chocolate Milk. The by, which you'll notice I have kind of squared, that stands for base or unit, in which case grams, liters, and meters are considered base units. So this is already in a base unit of liters, and this acronym stands for the different uh, metrics, so kilo, hecto, deca, your base unit again, deci, centi, and milli. So we wanted milliliters, so we're gonna go from our base unit down to milli, so we're gonna have to do one, two, three places to the right. So that's my little cheat sheet. It's the same as if I was dividing by um, each, each of those places stand for a 10, right? So your base is like your decimal place, right? So think of this as placeholders and you're either multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10 to get from each of those different letters. So in this case, I'm moving it three places to the right. So that means that 280 liters, I'm going to just add three zeros to it, and that's going to turn into 280 milliliters. So I want to know how many is in each bottle, right? And we said it was a total of 800 bottles. So I'm going to take my 800 and divide it into 280. I get 350. So there's 350 milliliters in each bottle. And you might think that's where we're stopping, but no, <laughs> we're going to move on to this big fun stuff. All right. So the cost to manufacture is $1.50 per bottle. Retail price at $7, they sell 2,500 bottles. Wholesale priced at $5, they sell 4,200 bottles. What percent increase or decrease did they make going wholesale versus retail? So let's look at our numbers. We're just going to plug them in here. First of all, we got to figure out the profit for each price, right? So I'm going to take my retail price, which is $7, and I'm going to subtract what it takes to make it, which is $1.50. So that means for each, do each bottle that they sell at $7, they're making a profit of $5.50. And we had how many bottles sold at that amount? We had $2,500 or 2,500 bottles. So we're just going to multiply those two. So when we say our profit of $5.50 times $2,500, we find that there's a retail profit of $13,750 when they do it retail. Let's check out wholesale. Can it beat it? Hmm. Well, wholesale, we said it was $5.00 and it still costs the same amount to make it, $1.50, so we got to subtract that out. So we're looking at $3.50, that's our wholesale, our wholesale price, right? So we take that $5, subtract that $1.50, get that $3.50. Then we're going to multiply it by the number of bottles we sold, which in this case was $4,200. And multiply that out, we get a profit of $14,700. Hmm, kind of odd to think that when you price it cheaper, you actually make more money but you sell more, right? So now we want to find that percent increase or decrease. So let's first ask ourselves, are we going up or down? Okay, that's what determines if it's an increase or decrease. So from retail to wholesale, we are increasing, right? So we went from 13,750 to 14,700. So there is an increase there, okay? So what percent increase? That's what we're gonna find. Now, to find percent increase, big thing we gotta remember, change over original, okay? So let's find our change first. 
Now, how am I getting that change? Again, we're looking at our retail profit and our wholesale profit, right? Our wholesale profit was 14,700 and we're gonna subtract that retail profit of 13,750 to get our change because we want that change over original, right? So the change is the difference between the two. So when we subtract that out, we get 950. Now, the original was the original retail profit price, okay? So that's 13,750. That's gonna stay on the bottom. So again, change over original, when we subtracted those, we got 950 on the top, and our original price was 13,750. We're gonna multiply it by 100 to get that percentage because when we first take the answer, we would get 950 divided sign, 13,750 equals, if you're putting it into your calculator, and when you put that in, you would get a big long decimal, but it's basically 0 0.069. But to change a decimal into a percentage, we gotta multiply by 100. So that's why you see that multiply by 100 there, because we gotta move it two decimal places, right? So when we move two decimal places, we see that it goes to 6.9%. So we're talking a 6.9% increase from whole, wholesale, from, or I'm sorry, retail compared to wholesale. So, um, that is a multi-step problem and hopefully y'all feel pretty confident in being able to walk through something similar yourselves. Keep up the good work y'all. We'll talk to you soon.